Knowledge graph technology is enabling some of today's most exciting applications, ranging from autonomous vehicles and on-device IoT to large-scale product compatibility and regulation compliance. The use case we'll be looking at today, though, spans just about every industry in one way or another, and that's semantic search and recommendation. Everyone wants a precise and instant search experience for their customers, but search is more difficult than it sounds as the user's input is often an ambiguous approximation of their real intention, which is a challenge for traditional approaches. The same can be said for recommendations, which often rely on machine-learned herd behaviour or surface-level algorithms, each of which fail to capture the essence of a truly valuable recommendation. Solutions built upon knowledge representation and reasoning technology, or KRR for short, offer a vastly superior search experience with contextual, personalised recommendations, and that's what we'll be showing you here with Audiofox. While industries such as retail, publishing and tech feel the impacts of these challenges most of all, they're felt in all businesses that encourage users to search for something. The BBC Good Food website is a great example of these common limits. Let's search for a pescatarian recipe. Not only are there just three results here, but we can see that the first contains chicken, so this recipe is in fact not pescatarian at all. Instead, let's look for an ingredient specifically, let's say tofu. What we find is that all of the results explicitly mention tofu in their title, where the actual ingredients are irrelevant. Now let's look at a semantic search solution with Audio Fox and try that pescatarian search again. This time, we can see that all the results really are pescatarian, and if we take a closer look at one of them, we can see why. On the left, we can see details about our recipe, including an aggregate of the recipe calories and various tags. Even though our data only contains information about the recipes and the ingredients that they contain, we've also added rules to Audio Fox that infer these tags and additional information, allowing us to search directly for more complex concepts. For example, this recipe has been tagged as pescatarian because it does not contain any meat. This particular feature, the lack of a property or value, is called negation and it's an incredibly powerful tool. By taking a look behind the scenes at Aria Fox, we can see the rule that is being used to infer this pescatarian tag. We can see that it's as simple as stating that a recipe must not contain any meat or meat products. Although we're talking about recipes here, you can easily imagine how this could improve the experience of a user searching for news articles, products, or pieces of furniture, as is the case for some of our clients, including a global publisher and a furniture retailer. Another key Audiofox feature is aggregation. This time, if we take a closer look at the rule that calculates the total recipe calories, we can see that they are simply derived from the sum of the calories of the individual ingredients. Once again, this has industry parallels, as it could just as easily have been the total value of a collection of trades or contracts. It can also be used for other aggregate functions, such as counts, that could be used to count the number of items in a basket or products on offer. Now, let's try that search for tofu again. At this point, we can also refine our search via dynamically generated facets that use high-level food concepts rather than direct ingredients. Once again, it's reasoning that makes this filtering recipes by abstract concepts possible, as the recipes aren't explicitly tagged with these terms, but are instead inferred based on an ontology. These facets are directly and exclusively related to the search results, doing away with the rigid and unhelpful structure of a traditional faceted search that can be frustrating to use. As we've only searched for tofu, quite a few of these recipes still contain meat, but we can exclude them by checking vegetarian. Let's look a little closer at sticky tofu with noodles. It looks good, but it's not quite what I'm after, so instead let's look at the recommendations. As with the details pane, we can see some information about the recipe on the left and why it's been recommended in the graph on the right. Alongside shared ingredients in the lower half, in the top half we can see shared tags and shared food groups each of which were inferred by Audio Fox. This shared food group is important to note because it isn't explicitly known in our data that either recipe contains an ingredient from this group, let alone that both recipes do simultaneously. Rather, the relationships have been inferred by Audio Fox, enabling us to use them in our recommendation calculation. Let's move over to the Audio Fox Graph Explorer 
for a technical deep dive. Here, we can see that Ariafox has inferred the relationships between both of these recipes and the high-level food group due to the fact that they contain different but similar ingredients, one being radishes and the other being cucumbers. Once again, this was achieved with rules which we can expose in the Explain tab. Here, we can see how the relationship between recipe and food group was inferred via a chain of increasingly broad concepts. Each of these factors then contributes to an overall score, which is used to rank the recommendations from most to least appropriate. In this case, we have used a form of term frequency analysis that adds to the score for every shared ingredient, weighted more for rarer ingredients such as tofu and less for common ingredients such as salt. What's crucial to understand is that the recommendations are based on rules that are written by domain experts. The experts can make the analysis as simple or as complex as the system requires, but critically, results will be driven by knowledge and experience, in contrast to black box machine learning, leading to more meaningful and valuable recommendations. Another huge benefit of this rules-based AI approach comes with incremental reasoning. This means that when new data is added or old is removed, the inferences are updated automatically without the need for a restart. If a new recipe is added, its scores and recommendations are calculated automatically, and it is also added to the recommendation list of other recipes wherever relevant. This very feature is what enables many KRR-based IoT and on-device applications. When on a phone, drone, or vehicle, it's common for new sensor data to come in constantly, and it's vital that the data store remains consistent, accurate, and up-to-date. All of these features combined contribute to a much improved user experience, enabling users to find exactly what they're looking for faster and with fewer distractions, while simultaneously recommending genuinely relevant alternatives and additions, ensuring they always come away with everything they need.